I think that Gary Speed started it, you know, with his, um, um, you know, the way he transformed the squad, really. I remember them going to Wembley um, and putting a great performance. Robert Earnshaw missed his sitter. Um, you know, we, on another day we could have won that game. Um, and then obviously the you know, tragic death. And then Chris Coleman's come in, um, didn't put his stamp on the team straight away. I think he, out of respect, he, you know, he, he gave it time and then, when he put his own stamp on the team, you know, the togetherness, which was under Gary as well. Um, what he'd done, I think he galvanised a squad who believed in each other, who have got one of the best centre-halves in the country at the minute in Dusty Williams. Um, good midfield. And, and players from the championship, when they put on the red shirt, you know, look like Premier League players. And what they've got is a superstar. In Gareth Bale. Well, I think I think Chris. I wouldn't say it was the last chance saloon as a manager because in his previous jobs he managed in the Premier League with Fulham. You know, went abroad. He managed Larissa. Um, you know, I think he was manager of Coventry. So you know, had another successful managerial career. So Wales probably, you know, might have been in some people's eyes probably his last chance. And I believe that you know a, 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 um, a national team should have somebody from their own country managing them. That's why I think Chris has been so successful because the players look at him, they believe in him, he's been through it and they look up to him. So fair play to Chris Corbin. Circumstances he took over the job as well, so all credit to him. The biggest problem would be is if Gareth Bale was injured and missed the championships, that would be a nightmare because, let's be realistic, uh, without Gareth Bale's goals and assists, out of them 11 goals, he scored seven and created three. So there's only one goal which he's not been involved in. Yes, they're defending brilliantly with Ashley Williams, Gunter. Yeah, he had the back three. Um, but you've got to be realistic. With no Gareth Bale, no chance. And I don't think he would have qualified. He's as simple as that. It's not a one man team because you say they could have got nil nil draws, but who would have got the goals? So take Gareth out the Bale out of the team, and it's, you've got no chance. Oh, no, I'd love to see him draw against England. Um, we're the unknown quantity in a major tournament. England. 10 out of 10 in qualifying, amazing achievement. Um, but when they get the tournaments, they seem to crumble. Um, Wales, on the other hand, never been to an unknown territory. I think it would be great, great to be drawn against England um, and see what happens. Got, got drawn against them in the World Cup in rugby. Battered them at Twickenham. You know, why couldn't we you know, do the same to an English team in the, in the Euros? Well, I think you judge an England manager on tournament football, and I think in the last tournament um, I was in Brazil. You know, England where I've got to say awful. Um, the expectation wasn't as much this time, really, as well on from the public and from the media. But you know, to go out of the group in the way they did, I just thought it was awful. Um, tournament football hasn't been great. Um, yes, they've qualified with ten under, out of ten under under Roy. Um, I think he's going to be judged on this tournament.